Flex Point user, in this video we will cover four topics. Terminology, a deep dive into the Sources tab, the Channels tab in depth, and then we'll close with how to contact support. First up, Terminology. Connectors. A connector is the general name for your sources and channels. A source. A source can be your internal warehouse, your dropship suppliers, a vendor, or even a data source. A channel. This is your sales platform. A channel could be your custom website or a marketplace such as Amazon or Shopify. An integration. This is how we connect FlexPoint to your source or channel. There are several types of integrations that control different parts of the fulfillment process, from importing inventory data to receiving shipment updates. Now, let's take our first deep dive into sources. Remember, a source is another name for your connection to your internal warehouse, your suppliers, vendors, or a data source. We have many ways to connect to your source, the most popular being file-based and our pre-built integration connections. Once you establish your source integrations, you'll see your inventory data import into FlexPoint. From here, FlexPoint can flow updates back and forth between your account and your sources if you opt in. This flow of data can be controlled manually or set to run on an automated schedule, whatever suits your business needs best. Flowing data back and forth happens via your integrations. Let's break down what each integration is responsible for. First, we'll talk about the five default integrations. Then, we will dive into the optional integrations. Get Inventory Primary is responsible for importing inventory data, pricing, quantity, and status from a source. It will also take care of passing any updates made after the initial import. Get Inventory Secondary receives pricing, quantity, and status from a source. This is used when product data is held in a separate location from inventory pricing and quantity. Send Fulfillment Requests will take care of sending your source's fulfillment requests after an order has been placed and routed. Get Shipments will pass tracking information from the source to your order. Get Invoices allows you to import invoices from a source. Now for the optional integrations. Get Fulfillment Request Acknowledgements. If your source provides a separate file or process to acknowledge that a fulfillment request has been accepted, this integration can be used to capture this. Get Inventory Images can retrieve images from an FTP or a zip file if the images have a standard naming convention. Send Accounting Fulfillment Request allows you to connect and send your fulfillment requests directly to QuickBooks Online. Send Accounting Invoices, same as before. You can connect to QuickBooks Online, but this time it's for Accounting Invoices. Here's a pro tip for you. There are shortcuts built into each integration preview. Hover over the integration name to see statistics. Click the refresh icon to run the integration. Click the calendar icon to view the integration schedule. Let's also dive further into sources. To add a source, click the blue plus icon in the top right corner. Then you'll follow our handy source wizard to get your source configured. To edit an existing source, click on the gear icon. Once you click the gear icon, you'll be redirected to that source's settings. Let's go over the options in the blue settings panel on the left side of the screen. First, basic info. Here you can update your organization's information. Next, direct access to your integration configurations. Then, address. This is needed for automation such as rate shopping. Now you'll see three areas for customizing your fulfillment request strategy, primarily through FlexPoint workflows. Workflows are rules you can create to control automation in FlexPoint. We'll dive into workflows in the last video of this series. The next piece you see is shipping methods. This area allows you to communicate your shipping preferences to your sources. 
Lastly, you'll see settings. This contains a variety of source specific settings. You can enable or disable each setting using the toggle switch. Quick note, your account will not have the admin section shown here. If you ever need to delete a source, please contact FlexPoint support and we will delete the source using our admin section. We've covered a good bit of ground so far. Now let's shift our focus to the opposite end of FlexPoint, channels. To refresh your memory, this is your sales platform. A channel could be your custom website or a marketplace such as BigCommerce or Magento. Through integrations, FlexPoint connects you to your channels and exchanges data around sales listings and order updates. As you look over the channel overview, you'll see that it mirrors the source overview almost identically. The navigation is very much the same. As you get started, you have two options for working with your sales channel, publishing and linking. Publishing will create brand new sales listings on your channel. Linking will connect with your existing sales listings based on matching identifiers such as SKU, UPC, or MPN. Once FlexPoint is connected to your sales listings, either through publishing or linking, you can choose to automate pricing and quantity updates via syncing or control the process manually. All of this work is done via integrations. Let's deep dive into the type of integrations you will see for channels. Just like sources, we have our default integrations along with a few optional integrations. Let's start with our defaults. Get orders receives new sales orders from your channel. Publish listings creates new products on your sales channel and pushes the latest product data updates to existing items. Sync orders will push shipment and tracking information for active orders to your channel. Sync listing will send pricing and quantity updates to your existing products. Now for our optional integrations. Send accounting orders allows you to connect your sales channel to QuickBooks Online and share orders. Custom export operations gives you the ability to export your current channel listings as a CSV or TSV file. Import listings will import your current listings into FlexPoint. Please note this integration requires uniform identifiers to be successful. If you're interested in this integration, please contact your customer success manager for more information. To add a new channel, click the blue plus icon in the upper left corner of the screen. You'll follow our easy to use channel wizard to create the channel. For existing channels, select the gear icon to the left of the channel name. As you can see, the settings for your channel mirror your source settings rather closely. There are a few differences though. Let's talk about those differences now. There are four new sections, invoicing, pricing and quantity, listing status, and in-store. Each section allows you to create workflows that automate how you handle each area of your sales channel. Next, you'll see shipping mappings. This section allows you to connect your customer's preferred shipping method to shipping policies in FlexPoint. I appreciate your time so far. We're at the end of our tutorial, and you now know your way around FlexPoint connectors. Remember, if you have questions, our support team is standing by to assist you. We offer 24-7 email and chat support, along with Zoom-based support calls by appointment. Thank you for your time. Be sure to check out our next tutorial, Flats Point Orders.